Holy Father has said that uh, a military solution in Syria is futile, uh, that the only solution is through dialogue and through negotiation. From South Africa to the civil rights movement in the United States, nonviolent resistance works. And it has a track record of bringing about amazing political change and amazing results over time. It doesn't happen quickly. And prayer is at the center of that. It is heinous that chemical weapons were used, especially if it was by a government against its own people. There's no question about that. Everybody condemns that. The question is, what will save more lives? Will the use of force and a U.S. intervention save more lives, or will getting people to the negotiating table save more lives? The church believes the latter is the case. You know, if you struck militarily, what then? Would Assad uh, cease and desist? No. So therefore, there's no way around a political settlement. Military strikes or no military strikes, you still have to do the hard work of creating a, a political settlement of negotiations, which is very difficult and politically un, unpalatable to do. You know, building peace means sitting down with nasty folks who've done bad things and, and trying to come up with, with a solution. You, know, you don't get to sit down with Mother Teresa Gandhi and Martin Luther King and build peace. You have to sit down with people who literally have blood on their hands. And that's difficult to do for domestic political reasons. It's difficult to do internationally. We would all love the comic book ending. You know, in the comic books in Hollywood, you know, Superman rushes in and you know, has, uh, has extreme force and overwhelming force, and the bad guys are quickly dispatched, and, and all is well, justice prevails. That's not how it works in our world, and the United Nations is not the Justice League, and the United States is not Superman. We do not want an attack on Syria. No attack on Syria.